Now, when we are solving questions and a quadratic function, you can be given a function y is equal to 4x squared minus 3x minus 1. Okay? And you'll be asked to draw this quadratic function given a range of values. Maybe they'll tell you x is ranging between negative 2 to positive 4. So you shall have, you shall draw a table, okay? You draw a table where they are all integers, okay? So we have x to be negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and then 4. So we are saying that let's assume that our values of x is between negative 2 to 4. So this is where as x is greater than or equal to negative 2 and less or equal to 4. Now, in this case, we are going to find our corresponding values of y. And the only way to do that is what? Fixing the values of x into this function to get our values of y. So if y is equal to 4x squared minus 3x minus 1, we are going to start with when x is equal to negative 2. So our y will be equal to 4 into negative 2 squared minus 3 times negative 2 minus 1. Then we solve for y. Our y will be equal to 4, negative 2 squared is positive 4 times 4 is 16. Then negative negative is for negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6. So plus 6 minus 1. So y will be equal to 6 minus 1 is 5 plus 16. We have 21. So we put here 21. So we are going to do the same thing for all of them. Okay? So when you are done, then you go to your OXY plane. Where you have your X and Y axis, you pick a reasonable scale. I think you'll be given your scale. So depending on the scale given, you look at the values and see whether you shift your graph a little to the left, a little upwards or a little downwards or something. Okay? So we shall learn how to do that when we are picking an example. So I'm just trying to elaborate more on some of the things we can talk about before you start learning. Now, when you pick negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, you can have your values too. Then you pick your graph and then you mark them. Okay? Assuming I have negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay? As my x-axis. Then let's say I have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and so on. I have negative 5, negative 10, negative 15. Now, assuming x is negative 2, we have 21. Negative 2, we have 21. So somewhere here, we continue marking them. It goes like this, okay? And that's how we get something like this, because this is a minimum curve. So you use your free hand, and then you draw it, okay? So after drawing, you shall have something like this. Okay, so assuming this is our curve, okay? Assuming this is our curve, we are done drawing it. We fix the values and everything. Assuming this is what we have. Now, we can be asked under a sub-question to solve for, let's say, 4x squared minus 3x minus 5 equal to 0. They will ask us to use the graph we've drawn, which is this, to solve 4x squared minus 3x minus 5 equal to 0. Now, in this case, we realize that we drew the graph of 4x squared minus 3x minus 1, okay? And 4x squared is 4x squared, minus 3x is minus 3x, but our minus 1 here is minus 5. So you ask yourself, if 4x squared is 4x squared, we shall have 4x squared minus 3x, then minus... Now, if this is minus 1, okay, if this is minus 5, what do I add to minus 5 to get minus 1? Because this is the actual graph we drew, we drew, okay? This is the actual graph. This is the actual graph we drew, which is um, 4x squared minus 3x minus 1. This is the graph. And we are being asked to solve for this. So we have to make this look like this, okay? Now, if this is 4x squared, this is 4x squared. If this is minus 3x, this is minus 3x. This is minus 5. So what do we add to minus 5 to get minus 1? So what do I add to minus 5 to get minus 1? It is positive 4. So I'm going to write this as minus 5, which is the same thing. But I add plus 4 here equal to another 4. So now if I should take this 4 to the right-hand side, it means I've added 0 to the equation. So over here, I've added 0 to the equation, but my equation is this, in this form equal to 4. Now I 
Simplify this. I get 4x squared minus 3x minus 1. Minus 5 plus 1 is minus 1. is equal to 4. Now, 4x squared minus 3x minus 1, this is the graph I drew. And it is equal to what? This is equal to y. So this means that 4x squared minus 3x minus 1 is equal to y. And this is equal to 4. So if y is equal to 4, okay, I go to my graph. And I look for, I locate 4 on my y-axis. So if this is 5, 4 will be somewhere here. I pick my rule. I rule a straight line, okay? That's where 4 is. Now, this straight line cuts up across two points on the curve, which is this point here and then this point here. Then I pick my rule again. I rule a straight line here to locate the point where it is, to, the, uh, to locate a point on the x-axis, okay, to read it. And then another point here. So I'm going to say from my graph, from the graph, from the graph, when y is equal to 4, x is equal to, let's say, negative 1.3 and uh, positive, uh, positive 3.4 or something, and positive 3.4. So this will be my answer for the values of x. Okay? So after using this to solve the question, okay, this will be my values of x. Now, I can also be asked, find 4x squared minus 3x minus 1 equal to 0. Okay? So in that case, 4x squared minus 3x minus 1 is equal to what? Y. So this means y is equal to 0. And if I want y equals to 0, if this is y equals to 20, y equals to 15, y equals to 10, y equals to 5, y equals to 0 is my x-axis. So why does the curve cut across the x-axis? It is this point and then this point. So I just read it and say from the graph, when y equals to 0, x is equal to this point and this point. Very good. Now, another aspect is you can be given a curve, okay? And you can be asked to also draw a straight line in the curve, okay? Or on the same graph sheet as what? The curve. Now, if you are asked to draw a straight line under the same um, graph sheet, what you are going to do is, assuming I'm told in the sub-question, draw also the graph, let's say y minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. So this means that this is a straight line. Why? Because it is in the form y equals to mx plus c. This can be written as y equals to 2x plus 3. So this is a straight line. Okay? Now, for you to get the straight line, look at the values of x you have here. Let's say I have negative 1, 0, and 1. Or negative 2, 0, and 2. Or negative 1, 0, and 2. Pick any three values you want from the values of x given. So I draw a new table. Okay? I have my values of x and y. I pick only three values. Let's say I pick negative 2, 0, and 2. So negative 2, 0, and 2. And then I fix them inside this equation. So now go. If I have y equals to 2x plus 3. When x is equal to negative 2, y will be equal to 2 times negative 2 plus 3. So y will be equal to negative 4 plus 3, y is equal to negative 1. I put it at negative 1. And you can see that when x is 0, okay, y is 3. So you also put 3 here. And then when x is 2, you continue solving. Okay, 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 3 is 7. So y is 7. Then you go to your graph. When x is negative 2, y is negative 1. So you mark it somewhere here. When x is um, 0, y is 3. Somewhere here, you also mark that. And when x is 2, y is 7. Somewhere here, you also mark it. Then you pick your rule. Then you rule your straight line. Okay? You rule your straight line like this. And you can see that it, passed, it, cuts, through, it cuts through two points on the curve, which is this point and this point. Okay? So you can be asking a sub question. Because you drew the graph of this, okay, the curve for this and then the line for this, when y is equal to y, when y is equal to y, maka. So when y equals to y, we shall have the curve being equal to the line, which is this curve, 4x squared minus 3x minus 5, being equal to the straight line, which is 2x plus 3. Now, if I should equate this to 0, I'll have 4x squared minus 5x minus 8 equal to 0. 
So in a sub question, they can ask you. So after you've drawn the straight line and the curve, then they ask you, use your graph to solve the equation 4x squared minus 5x minus 8. Now, you look at it, this is 4x squared, 4x squared, but this is minus 3x, this is minus 5x. You are like, what? What's happening? Okay? Now, this is minus 1, this is also minus 8. Hey, what is happening? They are not the same. What's happening? So, this is just the curve being equal to the line. If you should be able to equate this curve to the line, you get this equation. So, at which point is the curve meeting the line? It's at this point and this point. So, I'm going to say since y is equal to y, which is the curve, is equal to the line, which is this I've got here, 4x squared minus 3x minus 5 is equal to 2x plus a, which is the straight line. Then it follows that our x is equal to this answer and this answer. Okay? So you read the corresponding values of x as where the curve is meeting the line. Okay? That will be our answer. Then, since we have a minimum curve, okay, of this nature, what I do? Something like this. And we have something like this. We have values of x decreasing from this point to this point. Because x is, let's say, negative, assuming x is negative 3, x will be negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, if you watch the values of y, y is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. Now, you could see from this point that any value of y I pick, okay, any value of y, y will be decreasing. y is becoming negative uh, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. And what about the values of x? What about the values of x from this point? You see, x is negative, let's say x is negative 3 here. x is negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. 0, 1, 2. So you could see that x is rather increasing at this point. Because my values of x are what? It's becoming from negative 3, we have negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1. So it is rather increasing. But the y is rather what? Decreasing from 5, we came to 4, 3, 2, 1. And then when we come from this point to this point, again, our x values are what? Increasing. From this point, you see that x is increasing. 1, 2, 3, 4 is going on. When we come here, you see x will be 5. When we come here, x will be 6. And then y is also increasing. Now y is increasing from negative 3. Now we are going to negative 2. Negative 1. You can see neg um, 0, 1, 2, 3. So when we talk about x increasing, y decreasing, you just watch the trend. Okay? When you have a maximum value 2, as when you have your x axis. So if this is your x, x is becoming negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1. So x is what? Increasing. Then when you come here, x is also what? Increasing. Okay? Because it's running from, let's say, 1, 2, 3, 4. It should be going this way. So x is increasing. Then you ask yourself about the y. So if y is negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's see about the y. From this point, y is what? Increasing from negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. So y is increasing. Then from here, y will start decreasing. 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Y is decreasing. Do you understand? So we can use all these techniques in answering questions under quadratic functions. So let's solve a question now.